Hi yogis, this is Cole Chance. Thank you for joining me today. Wanted to let you know that I have a new one hour flow out on yogatx.org, so check it out over there. And let's just go ahead and jump right in today. Going to do a full body flow, so we'll be able to open everything up and uh, get the juices flowing. So let's start standing at the top of the mat, yeah? So stand with the feet, hips distance, so that's about two fists. Sometimes we think our hips are wider than they really are, but just about two, two fists. And pull up the toes and then set them back down and find all four corners. So kind of rock around here, finding the base, your roots. Rolling the shoulders back. Imagine the traps, water falling down the back. Hands facing forward and palms facing forward and close your eyes. Let's take a couple rounds of breath here. So in through the nose, feel the chest expand, the heart, the belly, and then out, coming all the way up and out the lips. Sigh it out. Again, in. And let it go. And one more time, imagining you're sinking, rooting down. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Hands to heart center. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, draw the hands through the body. Hinge at the hips, micro bend in the knee. And let's fold forward. Take a deep bend in the knees so you can rest the belly on the thighs, just waking up the hamstrings here. Shake the head yes and no. And then hands to shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Finding cobra in the back, rolling the shoulder blades back, pushing hands into shins and the shins into the hands. Pulling the belly in and then release down. Twice more, inhale, halfway lift. Just get it into the hamstrings. And then here we're extending from the tail to the crown of the head. And then exhale, fold forward. And one more time with your breath. Inhale up. And exhale, plant the hands. Let's step back, plank pose. So you can have knees up or knees down here. But wherever you are, the hands are wide and you're pressing away, pressing the ground away. Check that the shoulders are away from the ears, pull the belly in, plank pose. So we'll come down and come down all in one so everything hits at the same time. So knees, chest, belly comes down at the same time. Flip the toes. Inhale, halfway lift, low cobra. The shoulders are away from the ears, again feeling like the traps are going Water falling down the back. And then exhale, lower. Twice more, inhale, lift. Pressing the toes and the pubic bone down into the ground. Release. And again, inhale, lift. Feel the whole back chain of the body light up. Glutes, hamstrings, low back, and release. Press the ground away. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. So start to pedal it out here. Breathing into the back of the thigh, or back of the legs, hamstrings, calves. And then come to stillness. Pushing the ground away. The knees can be bent here. And if they're straight, make sure you're not hyperextending. So keep a little bit of a micro bend, no matter. Gaze towards the top of the mat. Let's step up. Halfway lift, finding the cobra in the back, and then fold forward. Good. Inhale, lift. Working all the kinks out. And exhale, hands to heart center. So we'll move with breath this time. Inhale, hands up, gaze up. And exhale, bow forward, using the whole exhale to come down. Inhale, halfway lift, find length. 
And exhale, plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Come to the toes and exhale all the way down. Everything touches at the same time. Flip the toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Cobra pose. Release. Come back, downward facing dog. Inhale here. And exhale here. One more time. Inhale. And release. Gaze towards the hands. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. And hands to heart center. Close the eyes. Inhale here. And exhale. Twice more. Feeling the vibrations in the body. Everything starting to wake up. Open the eyes. Let's inhale, arms up. And then exhale, we're going to come into diver's pose. This is a new pose. One that I don't think I've done on here. So we're going to bring the arms back. The palms are facing down. And I'm going to come bring my torso like a number seven. And then I'm going to come up onto the toes. So you've got to kind of think about a counterbalance here. The more that I stick the sit bones up towards the sky, the more I can keep that pose. So inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, drop the heels, chair pose. Inhale, spread the collarbone wide, and exhale, sink lower. One more time, inhale, lift, and then exhale, we'll fold forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hand, step back with the right foot. Plant the right hand, open up to the left. So pulling back on the left hip here, the back heel is sticking up towards the sky. Left arm strong, and it's kind of a feeling like you're leaning back against a wall, like something supporting you there. Pushing the ground away, and notice if this bottom shoulder wants to roll in, that's staying back as well. Exhale, both hands down. Flip the back heel around, and we'll open up to warrior two. Roll the shoulder blades together. So from elbows to shoulders, you're pulling in. From elbows to fingers, you're pulling out. Lift the front heel to sink the thigh. And then lower the heel. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Turn both toes towards the back. And then we'll open up warrior two to the back of the room. Good. Inhale here. Exhale here. Flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Plant the left hand, and this time we'll twist open to the right. So this time pulling back from outer knee to outer hip. Pushing the ground away, and a feeling like you can lean back a little bit. Another inhale here. Exhale, take the right arm on the inside of the leg, and we're going to walk to wide leg forward fold. So the toes are a little bit in, and the heels are a little bit out, and the hands go in between the feet. Inhale, let's push the ground away, find that halfway lift, a little bit of cobra in the back, and exhale, bow forward, crown of the head towards the ground. You can have as much bend in your knees as you need right here. And again, Inhale, halfway lift. This time, exhale to the top of the mat, and we'll step right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Big drink of breath in. Out the mouth. Let's go left side. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant hands, step back, left foot. We're coming into a lunge. Left hand plants, right arm peels up, shine the heart to the right, pushing the ground away, making sure that the left elbow stays back. Right arm is alive and awake. Pulling back on the right hip. One more inhale. Exhale, plant the hand. Plant the back heel, open up. Warrior two, sink low. Front heel comes up to sink the hip. Plant it back down. Now look down and see if your shoulders are coming forward. We tend to kind of come forward here, but bring it back, we want the shoulders right over. Let's inhale, straighten the front leg, bring the toes in, and then exhale, warrior two, back of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Keeping the bend in the front knee. And exhale, hands come all the way down, cartwheel down. Lift the back heel, plant the right hand, we twist open. To the left. Shoulders are coming together on the back. Legs are strong, pulling back on the left hip. Another inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down inside and we walk to wide leg forward fold. Toes out, heels in, and the hands are in a line with the feet. Knees can be bent. Inhale, halfway lift. This is a nice forearm stretch for the hands. And exhale, fold down. Good, inhale, halfway lift. And we'll turn towards the top of the mat. Let's take a big step up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow forward. And inhale, rise up. Hands to heart center. Big inhale here. Out the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Feels good. In and out. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, diver's pose. So coming forward, lifting the heels if it's available. Otherwise, you can just start. You can, take, um, you can take it with the heels down, something to work forward. It definitely challenges your balance, helps to bring the belly in. Another inhale here, exhale. And then inhale, drop the heels, chair pose. Exhale, sink low. Inhale, spread the collarbone. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. And exhale, step back, right foot. We'll come into a lunge. Gaze forward, left hip coming back. Inhale here. Exhale, bow over the leg. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, bow. Inhale, come forward. One more time, exhale, bow. Inhale, come forward and bend the back leg. Step up to standing splits. So we're going more for kind of an L shape here. But notice that the hip wants to open up. We want the toes to come down. Pull, put your thumb on the left hip and you can push it back. So the hip should be, sacrum should be pretty flat here. So let's inhale, find space. Exhale, bow forward. One more time, really strengthening the back here. Inhale, lift, and then exhale, we're gonna bring the left knee all the way down to the ground and take a seat. So we're gonna do a spinal twist here. So left leg is over, sole of the foot is on the ground as much as it can be. Left hand comes to the knee, right arm up, and then we'll twist over. Left hand can come to the mat. Inhale, lift. And exhale, twist. 
lift and twist. Good, release. We're gonna come into Navasana boat pose. So swing the legs around, grab behind the thighs, roll the shoulder blades back and the heart forward. Start to tip back and you can stay right here. You can start to straighten the legs, but as soon as the back starts to round, you know you need to just back up a step. And release the arms for five, four, three, two, one. Cross the legs, plant the hands. We'll step back to downward facing dog. Inhale here. Fully exhale. Inhale, come forward, plank pose. Exhale, come halfway down. Elbows in, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, push the ground away, pull the belly in. Downward facing dog, and that can be done with the knees on the ground. Inhale here. Exhale. Gaze towards the top of the mat. Step or jump the feet. Halfway lift. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, rise up. And hands to heart center. Close the eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, diver's pose. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, drop the heels. Lift the heart. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, step back, left foot. We'll come into a lunge. Inhale, gaze forward, heart shines forward. Exhale, straighten front leg, bow. Inhale, come forward. You can have the feeling of dragging the hands back. That helps to bring the chest forward. And exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And let's step up to standing splits into looking for the L shape. So take the right thumb to the thigh, pull it back. Look back at the toes and see that the toes are pointed down. So you're either flexing the toes or kind of like this flex point, point. But gazing down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And this time we'll bring the knee all the way down to the ground. Setting that for the spinal twist. So you can take the right hand behind you. Inhale, we'll lift up. And then exhale, the arm can wrap all the way around. Or you can place the elbow in front. Inhale, lift through the crown of the head. Exhale, twist. And again. Good, we unwind. Boat pose, everybody's favorite. So lean back, shine the chest forward, and find your boat. There's many different ways that your boat can look, many different variations of boat, but we'll stay for five, four, three, two, one. And the shaking is good. It's building the muscles. Cross the legs, plant the hands, step back, downward dog. Let's take inhale here, exhale here, come forward plank pose, again chaturanga, so knees up, knees down, we shift to the toes and come halfway down, inhale, flip the toes, upward facing dog, pushing ground away, and exhale, belly in, downward dog. In, 
and out. Again, in and out. Gaze towards the hands. Step or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale, rise all the way up. And hands to heart center. Inhale here. And exhale. Beautiful. Let's come onto the floor. We'll cross the legs, close the eyes. Just take a few moments here to feel everything happening in the body. The energy moving pulses, vibrations, and come back to the breath. Come back into that slow, steady breath. Check in with your thoughts. Sometimes I like a stronger practice, a more movement-based practice, because it helps me give my mind something to think about. On days where my head feels crazy, and if I move too slow in my yoga practice, I can, still, I can still spin out in my head. So on days that I'm frantic in my mind, it's helpful to move a little faster. That's just me anyway. Another inhale here. And release. Good. I'm gonna show you this really fabulous hip move real quick. So, let's see, easiest way to get in here. Let's cross the right leg around in front, like we're sitting cross-legged. We're gonna take the left foot into the crook of the arm, yeah? Take the left hand to the side, and you're just gonna lean over to the side, oh yeah. You can take the sole of the foot to the floor. But what we're trying to do is we're just kind of doing a self-massage here. So you can actually come down onto the elbow and just kind of rolling around on the hip here. It's very nice. You find all kinds of crooks and crannies. We hold so much in our hips. Yeah, very nice. And if you find a good spot, just stay for a little bit. And if you want to if you want to up level right here, you can get a tennis ball or something and put underneath and then you probably won't be rolling around this much if you had a tennis ball there, but it really helps to find, um, find some good spots. Good. And just come back up, kind of rock yourself back up and we'll switch sides. So bringing the right foot in and if you can put it in the crook of the elbow, if not, you can just kind of hold it or hold right here. And then we'll start to come onto the right side. Spending a few minutes giving our hips some love. Ooh, this side's worse. Or better, this side needs more love. I'm trying not to say anymore that one side, a bad side or something. We don't have a bad side, it's just a side that needs more love. Words are important. So just kind of roll around here, find some good spots. And if you can't find anything here, please tell me your secret for how you keep your hips so pain-free. Ooh, there's a good one. Mm, start to come out. Let's bring the legs wide. So not as wide as you could go, but somewhere comfortable and bring the glutes out from behind you. That helps to sit the pelvis a little bit forward. And let's inhale up. And then exhale over to the right. Just get a big side body stretch here. You can also take the head and the hand. Just stay for just a moment. Spinning the chest towards the sky. Another inhale. And inhale, come up and switch sides. Spinning the chest open. Mm. 
Those of you with chronic low back pain kind of have some. This really gets into that QL muscle. Any of the lateral stretches. Another inhale. And come back to center. And just cross the legs. Take another moment here. Close your eyes. Bring the hands to the knees. Roll the shoulder blades on the back. Imagining the traps or water falling on down the back. Tall from the crown of the head to the tail. Finding length and finding space. Just notice the space that you've opened up. And even on a short practice, just what a little bit of movement can do. And thank yourself for showing up and doing this practice today. It's not easy to unroll your mat. I understand. And thank you all for coming. Another inhale. And let it out. Bring your hands to heart center. The light and love within me sees the light and love within you. Namaste. Thank you all so much. See you next time. Again, cold chants, yoga tea.